there are many different approaches to flexibility. And we will start this class by discussing these different approaches to flexibility and their meanings. From the manufacturing point of view, flexibility is the capability of producing different parts without major retooling. It is a measure of how fast the company converts its process from making an old line of products to produce a new product. In other words, manufacturing looks at flexibility as the ability to change a production schedule, to modify a part, or to handle multiple parts. From the operational point of view, flexibility is the ability to efficiently produce highly customized and unique products. From a customer's point of view, flexibility is the ability to exploit various dimension of speed of delivery. From a strategic point of view, flexibility is the ability of a company to offer a wide variety of products to its customers. From a capacity point of view, Flexibility is the ability to rapidly increase or decrease production levels or to shift capacity quickly from one product or service to another. So, what is flexibility in manufacturing? There are three levels of manufacturing flexibility. Number 1. Basic Flexibilities This level of flexibility includes machine flexibility, which is the ease with which a machine can process various operations. Material handling flexibility, which is a measure of the ease with which different part types can be transported and properly positioned at the various machine tools in a system. And operation flexibility, which is a measure of the ease with which alternative operation sequences can be used for processing a part type. Number 2. System flexibilities. This level of flexibility includes volume flexibility which is a measure of a system's capability to be operated profitably at different volumes of the existing part types. Expansion flexibility, which is the ability to build a system and expand it incrementally. Routing flexibility, which is a measure of the alternative paths that a part can effectively follow through a system for a given process plan. Process flexibility, which is a measure of the volume of the set of part types that a system can produce without incurring any setup. And, product flexibility, which is the volume of the set of part types that can be manufactured in a system with minor setup. And level number 3, aggregate flexibilities. This level of flexibility includes, program flexibility, which the ability of a system to run for reasonably long periods without external intervention. Production flexibility, which is the volume of the set of part types that a system can produce without major investment in capital equipment and market flexibility, which is the ability of a system to efficiently adapt to changing market conditions. So, we have discussed different approaches to flexibility and their meanings, and the three levels of manufacturing flexibility in details. We will learn more about FMS in our next class. Don't forget to check the full playlist, links given in description.